Hello, uh, I am Zeyne Perol from Matthew Middle East Technical University and I was in HKUST, Hong Kong Science and Technology University, um, while doing this work. And I am speaking on behalf of Zhu Yan Chong from the University of Hong Kong, Ere Yuzgunay from Bilkent University, and Ray L.C. from City Uni University of Hong Kong School of Creative Media. I will present our work, our artwork called Sound Off, which is contextual storytelling using machine learning representations of sound and music. So we started this project with questions like how we can use machine learning techniques to enrich the interactions in site immersive spaces and how we can actually improve the experiences of audiences and and especially with um, uh, with interaction with the sounds so they to make them capable of interaction with the sounds and to change the way they are listening to sound and music inside the virtual reality inside this artwork so and we found that uh, one specific machine learning technique technique called Disney, Disney algorithm, uh, which I will explain more in more detail in next slides. And uh, but basically, it gives us uh, ability to convert the, the tem temporal sound sequences into spatial interactions, so that we, sh in specific narration, we have. Show, we we have showed uh, we have applied these techniques to show one's memories in a dream in a in a more contextual way so uh, before going into detail about the implementations of these techniques and design issues i want to show you the how artwork actually looks like um this is a train setting um with nostalgic interior design and it has some unrealistic features like it is on the water and um, there is a character which is representing multiple people in our lives and um, which is supporting the idea that um, in dreams actually we uh, the, the, the person the people can represent multiple people or the environment can represent multiple places um, which is complicated and the sound as well is not very linear and uh, in here the bubbles are representing sounds they are sound sources this is where this semi-transparent spheres and and the outside of the, outside of the train we are seeing a landscape which is generated by generative adversarial network uh, with 360 photos and while uh, experiencing sound off and the, um, the people are using controllers for listen the sounds and for 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 walking around walking inside the train and they they are using headset as well um, and the, the spheres which they are listening is being highlighted and it shows us that which sphere is we are listening so and um, uh, as I said we have clustered the, the the sound spheres with the algorithm called Tisney so the Tisney is basically algorithm which is able which is capable of um, grouped uh, similar data together so for example in here we have used uh, as input file audio audio files so and Disney can group the similar audio files basically and the similar positions so if you listen the if you listen the spheres in uh, one point and the the, the closer the, the the closer spheres which is close that sphere so they they have actually same similar musical features for example and and uh, with that actually um, we are trans transforming the linear experience of 
listening music and to do the more more special interactions because now actually we are not listening from one one start to end we are kind of inside the song inside the sounds and um, the the part of the song is is uh, mapped inside the train so actually while listening you are exploring the the part of the songs because while listening you are you are listening to similar parts and um but the, you walk and you hear some other parts but they actually came kind of came coming from the same source so uh, yeah disney gave us ability to to change to, to interact with sounds basically and we have used five themes um, to represent some narration and I want to show you brief the video of our artwork to give you a feeling about what actually looks like. Um, as you can see here, um, the player um, can, can listen the sound, the sounds by pointing them. So yeah, it's amazing as well. So for example, here the theme is goodbye. So in we have combined one song and with one speeches. And here the theme is pop. And we have combined the speeches from Martin Luther King and the song from Hong Kong local people, but again it's about hop. So yeah, there are, in order there are other, other themes like uh, longing, misunderstanding, and silence. We have used different um, different kinds of pairs to support the theme. For example, this is the theme from theme misunderstanding. So uh, uh, additionally, we have changed the, the perspective of the audiences to support the theme again, like it is misunderstanding. And so this is the final scene, which is, which is a silence. And this is kind of a sound of the sound of the voices, like so. Yeah, the experiences is quite different from different for every people because you see, um, it's this kind of exploration. It's like it's like a game. It's like a movie uh, because it has some scenes, but also the audience can, you know walk around and has some interactions with the character as well not like the, the the sound interactions which is they can listen but they they can follow them because they can walk um, so let's continue with the details about the artwork um, for landscape as you see as you saw we have used generated images and generated video with a specific algorithm called StyleGun2 uh, and we have used large data set, uh, 360 large images data set um, which is recorded by our team, uh, one of our member of team and um, the setup of virtual reality is like look like that uh, we have headset and controllers, and it is exhibited on one exhibitions um, called Osage in Hong Kong. And we have we and we did survey just after the opening of the exhibition, and um, uh, I want to show you. I want to explain the fi findings of after this survey. So. I, because it is actually very interesting, um, some parts. Um, first of all, uh, the mood of the and um, the we, if if we have asked if if if, if it gave the realistic or dreamy feeling, and majority of people thinks it is dreamy, which was we intended to do that. So this is kind of a good good finding for us and for for um, clustering as well they they 
they thought that uh, the sounds are very well organized. So because we didn't said we have used some algorithm to to organize the sounds, but uh, it's already they already found that they are organized. So, um, but for story, it is interesting. They thought that the, um, this this setup, this novel setup, didn't um, help the story, like the the themes, like goodbye, misunderstanding, as uh, etc. But it enriched them, enriched them experiences uh, I think with this with this controlling and with this interactions and uh, the way they listen the sounds so um, to uh, explain more uh, and how to the, the how, to explain how we came to this point and I want to show you our previous virtual reality design case studies before we did this final artwork because uh, we have decided our design decisions based on this um, testing. Um, we have the two, two testing. Uh, one is with data set, uh, like around 120 uh, sound pieces and uh, the other one is just with um, one single music piece, and also we have tried to 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 see the the intera which interaction way is better for us. Like if it is ray tracing, like for the first one, for the New York one, the dataset one, or with the controllers, and also we tried the if the the, the mapping of sounds in two D is is better or the the three D set three D uh, mapping is better. So um, after did we did this, uh, we have seen that. But um, to explain the the Disney here, uh, the first one the Disney has grouped them grouped them the sounds of New York and inside the sphere and again chunks to the this, the, the audio files and group the similar sounds together but in the second one actually with our own set algorithm we uh, it chunks into the this uh, music f one music piano piece which is Rhapsody in Blue into the pieces and again uh, map the part of the so uh, music into the space so yeah, first one is using data set, uh, basically the second one is using uh, one single music. And at, at, at the end actually we have combined these uh, two way to uh, um, to use the Disney because as you, as you know we have used pairs which is consist of two audio audio file which is which one one is music the other one is sound recording and also but we have used you know long too long too long too long audio file and for other design decisions uh, for example for uh, interaction way we have used um, controller because we found that it is more good for specifically listen to one um, sphere which is better and we have found that 3d mapping is better for creating some space for audiences for example as you know in the train uh, audiences can walk around and yes after these previous design case studies we we try to find the most efficient more creative way to interact with the sound and listen to so sounds and how we can process the sounds pre-processing and post-processing and um, I want to sh I want to sh thank you to the people who are involved in this project, especially the Studio for Narrative Spaces in Creative in the School of Creative Media, and thank you very much for listening. <laughs>